You know, today, Hardin County Judge Wayne McDaniel issued a voluntary evacuation for people in low-lying areas. 12 News reporter James Grant is live along the Natchez River watching water levels for us. That's right, Deja and Jordan. I'm here along the Natchez River in Jefferson County. I'm specifically, you see right there behind me, that's normally Collier's Ferry Park here in Beaumont, but as you can see, it's fully underwater right now. Uh, right over by Beaumont Country Club here uh, on Pine Street. And these rising water levels, they have some Southeast Texas judges concerned, others not so much. People who live along Village Creek and Lumberton should remain on alert. That's the message from Hardin County Judge Wayne McDaniel. I think a lot of people let, let their guard down since the forecast earlier in the week didn't, didn't come to pass, which we're very thankful for. But if this comes to pass, I just want people to be prepared, and I, I didn't want them to uh, think that this is all over. He issued a disaster declaration early Friday, along with a voluntary evacuation order for low-lying areas in Hardin County. We don't want to have to put our first responders in harm's way tonight at midnight trying to rescue people. And so as many people as we can possibly... Uh, you know, be best prepared ahead of time, and we just want them to keep an eye on things. He fears a couple more inches of rain on top of saturated ground could translate into trouble. Along the Natchez in Jefferson County, things look worse, but Judge Jeff Brannick isn't that concerned. We don't have any hydrological data from the uh, National Weather Service that indicates we're going to experience any problems on the Natchez here. The river has swallowed up Collier's Ferry Park in Beaumont, but Judge Brannick says dredging downriver should help the water drain. Brannick knows after what happened Monday, people in Finette are nervous. He believes this time things will be better. It does not appear that with the forecast totals we're hearing about that we're going to have to have any search and rescue operations or anything like that or high water rescue plans. Judge McDaniel says he hopes that these rainfall, these forecasted rainfall amounts, I should say, stay on the lower end of things. And he says he and other Hardin County residents, they're praying for the best, but preparing for the worst. I think he speaks for most of us here in Southeast Texas. Live in Beaumont, James Grant, 12 News. Yeah.